This is the first recording of Flashback Express. We'll see how long this goes. I have done a spreadsheet to splice curves together. I thought I would try looking at the uh, curves for unmitigated and mitigated uh, disease uh, spreading. The rules are that flattening the curve does not reduce the number of people infected. It spreads it out over time. But all cases on the graph will reach the same number of total cases. Since no mitigation has the same total of case number of cases, it finishes sooner. There is a time when stopping mitigation will finish the process sooner without overburdening hospitals. To switch to unmitigated, number of cases remaining on the unmitigated curve. The number of cases must be less than or equal to the number of cases remaining on the mitigated curve. Also to switch the cases per day must be below the point where we won't jump above the acceptable number of cases for the hospitals. So, the day saved by switching with allowable cases, I was a sample. The spreadsheet lets you change these three values, days to the unmitigated peak, peak cases unmitigated, and max cases allowed per day if that will be due to mitigation and what the hospitals can handle. These values are calculated. We'll look at those a bit later. These values are calculated. These are curves. The uh, total number of cases continually rise. The blue curve is the fastest rise because it's the unmitigated, which is here's the cases per day unmitigated. The green curve is the cases per day with mitigation and is here for the total number of cases. Now the red curve follows the green curve and then at this point in time jumps up and hits the allowable limit as if we could turn off mitigation with a light switch. In this case you can see that this dashed green line is the allowed value that we set up here, and we can say 55 days. Now in a different case, these are just made up numbers. If I put in 60 days to the unmitigated peak, 100,000 peak cases per day unmitigated, and max allowed 50,000, I get all these numbers. The curves move around, but you see they still hit the same total and you see the green curve goes this way. The, if we jump to unmitigated here, uh, it then it follows a shape, which is the same as the shape of the blue curve, but out here in time. We say 31 days. The actual cases, of course, will be more rounded because you can't flip the unmitigation on like a light switch. So here we are, we're calculating peak. Uh, we set the peak days, on this case, 60 days to the peak unmitigated, 100,000 per day max, 50,000 allowed max. So this gives you 6 million total cases, and half of that at the peak, so 3 million. And then, of course, the mitigated peak has to be calculated because we only can have this maximum. That turns out to 120 days. Uh, and these are just double check values. Everything matches up. We page down. The other calculations are days after the start, unmitigated before you are exceeding the allowed. If so, it's 30 days. So that means that from symmetry that 90 days from the start gives you where the 
unmitigated uh, would be dropped back below the mitigated uh, allowable. And this is the number of cases per day. Um, actually, that's not right. Oh, yeah, number of cases remaining at this point in time. And if you were to hold at 50,000 per day as a flat line at this point, it could be done in 10 days. That won't happen. It'll follow the uh, unmitigated curve down. So when we have reached this number of cases, we're at a point where we can unmitigate, shall we say. And then 50 days, switching to max allowable. Um, okay to open up after reaching one point. This is so the number of cases at the peak, whether let's say that's 3 million, you multiply that by 1.83. When you reach that number of cases, then we're ready, we can open up. This means there's 8.67 cases in this scenario remaining to now 50,000 unmitigated cases per day also checks out to this number of cases and this just shows that 31 days can be saved by splicing the unmitigated curve onto the mitigated curve. So once again if we look at the graph you're seeing the blue curves here's the mitigated unmitigated number of cases per day. Here's the, un the unmitigated total number of cases, which of course levels off when the cases per day is back to zero. Now if you mitigate with the limit we set, that's the green curve, and then the, the red curve splices at this point, and here we are again red curve is a little steeper here because it pops up here and it ends sooner by in this case 31 days so that's the end of that let's just jump to the uh, slider so you can see it quick watch the curves move I'm going to change the number of days to the peak this is moving over you can see this dashed line is where the unmitigated peak is this green line is where the mitigated peak is. This is the limit. Here's the red curve popping up here and dropping down here. That's how, and so if I change the peak cases per day unmitigated, uh, by the way, I've rigged it. Okay, this can go to zero. It blows up there. But I've rigged it so the max cases per day uh, mitigated can't be greater than the unmitigated that wouldn't make any sense now as I move this down let's jump so we can see the other curves we are now they're starting to show up I need to have a few more allow if you don't allow very many cases, the hospital can't handle it. This could take like forever. And if we can, so here we are, we finally hit a value where you can see the savings 43 days. Uh, and the last day is 305 days after start. That's how it works. Just thought I'd share. if I can turn this off. I think I can. It says nine minutes.